Hey guys, it's Siobhan from New York. How are you? <laughs> it's raining here. Um, my hair's a little bit frizzy. It's very early in the day. I just finished dropping off my daughter and um, I had some time so I decided I was going to do a video today and um, I'm copying an idea that I did on someone else. I think it was like two weeks ago that I helped my friend Chrissy with some bridal hair. Um, she's a professional hairstylist and this was the second time that she had me help her on a job and it was so much fun, so cool. And uh, yeah, this was one of the ideas that I, I just kind of made it up as I was doing it on this particular girl. She was a bridesmaid and her hair was a, it was much shorter than mine actually. Um, I think it came to about here. And I actually, um, I think you could also probably do this on hair that was was, is, <laughs> really long too, and um, yeah, it's simple, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> Alright, so basically just start off by getting all the tangles out, sort of standard. <laughs> My hair's a little bit damp because as I said I was caught in the rain, and you want to part your hair down the middle. Now technically you could do it down the side too if you wanted to, but I kind of like like it down the middle for this. Okay. Now you're going to do sort of a half part all the way around. And you want two even pieces of hair on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to use my fingers for this part. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter if like the line is a little bit uneven just because um, it all kind of gets covered up. Uh, there we go. So she clipped the top out of the way for a moment because you gotta clip the bottom out of the way. So I've got the bottom ponytail out of the way, the bottom piece, and I'm gonna make two more sections. Right here to like, I guess the middle of your ear. It could be behind your ear, even in front of your ear if you want to. Let's see, that's pretty good. And you might want to clip this piece up high just because after you work on these two sections, you're going to use the bottom section first before you start working on this top section of hair that I'm clipping away. So now what you're going to do is you can decide whether or not you want to lace braid them, Dutch braid them, French braid them, whatever you feel like doing. I am going to French braid mine. Okay, so I said a minute ago that I was going to French braid them, but I started to do that and I decided that I didn't like it, so I Dutch braided them instead. And um, when I added in my hair, I kind of tried to pull the braid back as I was going because I kind of wanted it to do this sort of a swoopy thing. So now, now that the braids are in, Take some bobby pins and pin your your uh, your braids kind of like in the middle of your head. Now if your hair is really long and you have long braids, you could just fold them a couple of times. And actually I think the, the folded braids might be a really good base for the next step. But since my hair is kind of short, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to pin them <laughs> any way I can. With your bottom section of hair, you can use a brush or a comb to kind of brush it upwards. And then start to do like a French twist. And you kind of want to twist it over the braids. Or as best you can over the braids. I tend to make mine very, very tight, but um, I think loose is good for this. Now just twist the bottom of your hair, don't twist the top, just let it hang because that's going to be part of the next step. Something like this. See? 
Now you don't have to use a brush. Actually, it could be really pretty if you just use your fingers. It's definitely more natural looking. Um, and what you'll do is just kind of grab the top section of hair, but also grab the end that's left over from the French twist and just kind of very loosely fashion a bun. And then you just pin. Now, when I did this on the young woman at the wedding, her hair was damp and slightly wavy, but um, we curled it. And I think that really helps sometimes. I'm not really interested in looks that create a lot of volume. Some girls like to tease or, I don't know, bump it or whatever crazy stuff. <laughs> But um, I've always been much more interested in like braids or anything that just looks really intricate but, you know, is actually really simple and I'm not a big fan of volume. But if you like volume and you like this style, it looks completely different when you curl your hair beforehand. Curling your hair will um, always give you that extra oomph, kind of. Even, you know, even though your hair is all pinned up, you do all this work curling it and you pin it up. Um, you can still see sort of a difference um, as opposed to my hair which is kind of just natural <laughs> a little bit wavy a little bit straight kind of in the middle not one thing or another okay so that's it um mine's kind of casual because the bun is a little bit messy I took a little bit more time with the other girl's hair obviously because you know it was her friend's wedding <laughs> But um, yeah, it's really simple. I mean, it took me 10 minutes to film this. That's all. <laughs> and I just thought you guys would enjoy something a little easier than my usual like crazy sectioning braid sort of hairstyles. So that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.